Anti-corruption activists are asking President Waldo Buhari to caution ministers as well as sanction ministries, departments and agencies that fail to submit financial statements and audited reports. They are also calling for the passage of pending audit bills to address concerns raised recently by the Auditor General of the Federation. In line with the provisions of Section 85, Subsection 3B of the 1999 Constitution, the 2017 Auditor General's report was recently published to ensure effective and efficient management and utilization of resources in the public finance system. However, the entire audit process has been handicapped by underfunding. The lacuna in the effective operationalization of this process is seen in the fact that the audit reports are lagging, they are tabled, they are seldom considered, they get to the legislature late. According to the 2017 audit report, over 160 parastatals in Nigeria failed to submit financial statements and audited reports to the office of the Auditor General. Despite this anomaly, the MDAs have still enjoyed resources appropriated by the National Assembly and the Ministry of Budget and National Planning. Appalled by the details in the report, some anti-corruption groups are asking the National Assembly to wake up to its responsibilities by ensuring full compliance with enacted laws. We find this hugely irresponsible and unacceptable. It directly indicts not just the defaulting parastatals, but also the National Assembly and the Office of the Budget and National Planning. We believe this report has the needed potential to transform the anti-corruption campaign of the country and bring traction to accountability in public institutions. The names of the policy agencies and their chief executive officers be published and full investigation to commence by the anti-corruption agencies. We also call for the passage of the pending audit bill the Auditor General of the Federation has submitted the 2017 audit report to the National Assembly with a recommendation that the financial allocations to defaulting agencies be withheld. There is also the need for the President to sanitize public institutions and with these institutions of irresponsible leaders. From Abuja, Amina Jibril, STV News.